Meanwhile, the House of Representatives Ad Hoc Committee investigating mismanagement and job racketeering in MDAs has expressed displeasure over the non-appearance of ministries, departments and agencies that have refused to appear before it. Chairman of the Ad Hoc Committee, Yusuf Gagdi, issued this warning at the ongoing investigation in Abuja. The chairman announced the invitation of university teaching hospitals and other agencies to appear before the Ad Hoc Committee on Friday for further hearing. This is one of the channels of communication that National Assembly is allowed to use without even writing letters to those agencies. So I'm sure this will serve as a last call to all agencies to make sure they appear before us here. And with this, no agency will have excuse that they haven't seen our invitation. This is in addition to other agencies that we have not published their names and we have written to them for the first time to appear. We must have an engagement with them and they must come here. Otherwise, agencies that refuse to honor our invitation should blame themselves for whatever information we receive from approving authorities in the like federal character, like budget office, like head of service. We will use the information we receive from those departments as their nominal role to send our report at plenary, and that is what we are going to recommend to forensic auditors to audit. We have nominal roles for 2015, 2016, 2017, and then 2018 there was a recruitment, so the recruitment documents and also the nominal role for that year was also attached. Then 2019, we have staff nominal role, there was no recruitment for that year. 2020, we had recruitment and we attached all the documents and also the nominal role. 2021, similarly, there was recruitment and also 2022. So the document is here before us, sir, for consideration.